Hey, Anthony, and I'll just have one quick follow up, Brad. I um, was curious if you could walk us through, you know, your triceps um, thing and, and how you're feeling now and how, how you kind of got better and back into the mix. Oh, yeah, I feel good. Uh, worked with our trainers and stuff to get back right. Uh, just had like a little bit of like nerve damage last uh, tricep to spring, but I uh, feel good last week. Got through the game healthy, staying on my strengthening part of it. But I mean, no one's 100% healthy at this time of year. So uh, just working at it, getting better, and should be good to roll this week. And then just during that two game stretch, Nick um, mentioned just how much of a teacher and guide you were. How proud were you to, to see him, you know, do what he did for the defense during that time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he worked his tail off. And uh, just because I wasn't playing, don't mean I wasn't in uh, every single meeting and uh, at every single practice. So, uh, yeah, I just take pride in what I do. So if I'm not out there helping on the field, I'm going to be helping in the classroom and walkthroughs and practice. So, uh, yeah, I just just told him everything I knew or you know, for that week. And uh, he took it and ran with it, uh, played, played his butt off for those weeks and still playing well. So, yeah, good for him. We'll go next to Todd Lebo. Go ahead, Todd. Yeah, Brad, I'll have a follow-up as well. Anthony, when you're, when you're watching the game from the sideline, is it, what sort of perspective can you gain on it as not a participant, right? Could you, could you learn something from the time you had sitting out watching the actual game as it, as it unfolded? Yeah, football is football. Uh, playing or watching, coaching, uh, all of the above. So uh, there's always some pros and cons you can pull out of the game. And uh, there's nothing really uh, – like a point that I can really like pull out for each game, but just overall, it's just how good, you know, we can actually be if everyone's on the same page. And, uh, and that's just watching, you know, from the distance a little bit, those couple of weeks is there's times in each game where, you know, we looked great. And then there was times we did. And so we was just trying to put in like four quarters together and, uh, you know, demonstrate good ball. And we, we've done that this past couple of two weeks and uh, see, I helped us, you know, on the scoreboard, keeping these teams, you know, under 20 points. I wanted to follow up. You had some, you know, social media interaction with fans or whatever on Instagram. Did you learn any lessons from that or anything you can take away from that incident, I guess, on that one Friday night where everything kind of blew up a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think it was just a lot going on at the time. Uh, to be honest, um, I have no comment on it. Uh, if it's not really about the Vegas uh, Raiders and us winning going forward, uh, really no comment about it. Let's go next to Matt McMullen. Go, Matt. Hey, Anthony, it uh, seems like you guys defensively have really gotten things going the last couple of weeks. And for you being out there last week, how much fun was it just to dominate defensively throughout the game? Yeah, it, it feels good. Uh, you know, all the work you put in and uh, seeing your brothers put in the same work and it all it shows on Sunday. Uh, sometimes you don't show up in the first couple of weeks, three weeks. Uh, sometimes it take the week six or seven. But when it when it does show up, it, it looks good. And, you know, everyone likes watching and being a part of it. So all we have to do is just continue working and continue building off the, the weeks prior. The last to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hello, Anthony. I have two questions. The first one is with having most of the guys healthy now, just how much has that improved the, the rest of the defense showing? Or is there something specific that maybe from week four to week now that you think um, has been remarkably different in helping you guys be more productive? And then I'll yeah. off. Yeah to, be, yeah, to be honest, we haven't really changed nothing. I mean, we do got some guys that's uh, a little more healthier now and, you know, got our full 11 or 13 guys out there that we, we rotate guys around and things like that. So, uh, yeah, we didn't change nothing. We just kept working. We knew we, we have uh, good players on our side of the ball and we can get it done. Uh, we, we showed that in the past, in these past years, and uh, we got a lot of the same guys. So uh, we're a very confident group. And all we're going to do is keep working and hopefully it shows up on Sunday. It always does it. It's not a guarantee that it's going to show up this Sunday or next Sunday, but uh, we definitely put the work in uh, just, just waiting on it to show up, you know, week in and week out. And then lastly, um, you've been a part of this robbery now for, for a few seasons. You've played against Derek Carr. Is there anything that you've gained from playing against him in the past? And is there anything um, noticeable or something that you'll have to be mindful of on Sunday uh, given that you guys play them twice a year. Yeah, I mean, we play, like you said, we played him a couple of times here, and uh, he, he's the key. Uh, when he's when he's firing on all cylinders, they tend to win a lot of games. I think I seen a stat the other day is when I think he throws over 300 yards or so, they're 5-0. and and Under that, I think they're 0-3. So he, he's a, he's definitely the guy to make them go. So uh, we got some things for him. I mean, he's a, he's a great quarterback. When he's playing at that level, man, he's one of the best in his league. So, 
we got some things for him. It was a little cat and mouse game between me and him, and uh, just looking forward to it. Hitch, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. All right, we'll see you guys.